This week, we travel to our final destination called Lebo in Sumatra. Lebo is on oil palm plantations, and we will be staying with scientists who are investigating this landscape. There's no rainforest here, and much fewer animals. We did see some animals though. Come and see! Here's a shiny beetle, a grasshopper, and a big spider called a nephla. This one's the female. This mound is covering an old tree stumps and termites would live inside, feeding on the stump. The tree would have once been a great forest tree. Lots can be done to help the animals that live here, some are even useful to the oil palm growers. Scientists Ribka and Avento record and study things like rainfall and how a balance between predators, like this assassin bug, and prey can mean that the palm leaves aren't completely eaten by caterpillars. Even the lianas are kept under control here. This week we found out that our orangutan's name is Takum. Takum, what do you have to show us? This line of brown pillows is what the oil palm fruit grows in. Do you see how oily the fruit is? That's why it's so good for getting oil from. Big diggers knock down old oil palms, clearing space ready for replanting new ones. They chop up the old trees so that all of the nutrients go back into the soil. We can extract the soft middle of the palm. It's very tasty and called the heart of palm. Lebo has a tower too. The landscape looks very different from up here. Oil palms as far as the eye can see. Temperatures, wind and light are also recorded here and scientists can compare these to the same information collected in the rainforest. It's important for us all to understand what is happening to landscapes and habitats when we change them. So Takum, our scientist friends and I, visited some schools in Sumatra, just like we did to St Luke's School in Cambridge. We played some games and learned all about how all living things in an ecosystem are important, how habitat change can make it difficult for some animals to survive, and how we can help these animals by providing them places to live. Let's see how they got on. We also went out to see what insects and mini beasts we could find around their schools. We found lots of butterflies, grasshoppers and shield bugs. We discovered what they were by using our ID sheets too. Takum certainly had some fun finding some orange insects. The children in Sumatra have drawn the insects that they found and are sending these drawings back to St. Luke's school. They will receive some pictures in return from St. Luke's and we can see how similar or different our school's insects are. This is our final video from Southeast Asia. Thank you for following our journey. Goodbye! Bye.